Well, today, Rudolph Giuliani confessed to crimes in Georgia. He did not enter a formal confession in a criminal procedure, but he admitted in writing under oath in a civil case that he lied about election workers Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shea Moss. They are suing him for those lies, and Rudolph Giuliani admitted in a written pleading in that case that everything he said about them was a lie. Those lies amount to crimes in the state of Georgia and possibly federal crimes currently being investigated by Special Prosecutor Jack Smith. Here is the video of Rudolph Giuliani testifying to the Georgia House of Representatives on December 10th, 2020. We now know that the video you are about to watch is a video of Rudolph Giuliani committing crimes that can leave the 79-year-old man and possibly future criminal defendant in prison for the rest of his life. I'm not sure I know the names of these people. I think I do. I think the woman in charge here is named Ruby Freeman. And I think her daughter, Shay Freeman Moss, either was helping her here or helping her earlier. Because earlier in the day, these two were engaged in another apparent voter fraud in which they were passing out uh, USB ports, which uh, were being used apparently, you know, to, to infiltrate the crooked Dominion voting machines. There it is. There is the smoking gun that will determine where and how Rudolph Giuliani lives the rest of his life. You just heard Rudolph Giuliani committing the crime of making false statements to Georgia officials. It is also the crime of improperly influencing government officials, which is a separate crime in Georgia. And because he was soliciting the Georgia House of Representatives to overturn the presidential election, what Rudolph Giuliani just said is the crime in Georgia of, quote, solicitation to commit election fraud which carries a mandatory minimum prison sentence of one year. Some of the other crimes Rudolph Giuliani committed in that video carry a maximum sentence of five years in prison. Rudolph Giuliani wasn't finished. It's a tape earlier in the day of Ruby Freeman and Shay Freeman Moss and one other gentleman quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they're vials of heroin or cocaine. I mean, it's, our it's, it's obvious to anyone who's a criminal investigator or prosecutor, they are engaged in surreptitious illegal activity again that day. Vials of heroin. What was your mom actually handing you on that video? A ginger mint. Rudolph Giuliani received a target letter from Georgia's Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis. Rudolph Giuliani is very likely going to be indicted for what he said and did in Georgia. And a Georgia jury is very likely to find that video proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And so tonight, as Rudolph Giuliani clings to the wreckage of his life, we will consider what he might be doing to save himself. Is he now a cooperator in Special Prosecutor Jack Smith's investigation of crimes leading up to and on January 6th, including election crimes committed in Georgia? Is Rudolph Giuliani a cooperator with District Attorney Willis's investigation in Fulton County, Georgia? Rudolph Giuliani admitted that the statements he made about Ruby Freeman and her daughter, Shea Moss, were defamatory, were untrue, and he made that admission in writing in the defamation lawsuit that they brought against him. His lawyer says that Giuliani made the admission to save attorney's fees by streamlining that case to focus on his only remaining defense argument, which is that he had a First Amendment right to lie about Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss in any way that he wanted to, including talking about vials of heroin. Our first guest tonight, Andrew Weissman, has another theory about why Rudolph Giuliani is admitting to the defamation that is the very essence of that case. And we'll hear that theory in just a moment. Rudolph Giuliani is going to lose that defamation case. He knows that. His lawyer knows that. But it is probably true 
that one of Frodo of Giuliani's objectives tonight is to reduce his attorney's fees in that case as he hovers ever closer to complete bankruptcy. In his filing, admitting that his comments were defamatory, Rudolph Giuliani said that his admission is, quote, solely for the purposes of this litigation. And that, too, is a lie. And it is a lie that much of the news media seem to fall for today. Rudolph Giuliani was suggesting that he's only saying under oath in a legal filing that he lied solely for the purposes of that piece of paper in that civil lawsuit. I'm sorry, that's not the way it works. And Rudolph Giuliani knows that. Rudolph Giuliani knows that the statement he made in writing today, in this document, in this civil lawsuit, can and will be used by Special Prosecutor Jack Smith and District Attorney Fawny Willis as the equivalent of a confession to the crimes that he committed in Georgia. But both of those prosecutors might already have Rudolph Giuliani's confession in testimony to the grand jury in Georgia, it is possible that Rudolph Giuliani gave up the lie as soon as he was put under oath by Fawny Willis in her Fulton County special grand jury. Donald Trump wrote something this morning with a classic Trumpian misspelling about what he assumes will be the case of United States of America versus Donald J. Trump when Jack Smith's January 6th grand jury indicts Donald Trump for his attempts to interfere with and overturn the presidential election, using spelling that indicates he wrote it himself. Donald Trump said, we'll have fun on the stand with all of these people that say the presidential election wasn't rigged and Stalin, the trial of the century. One of the people testifying against Donald Trump that the election wasn't rigged and Stalin will very likely be his co-conspirator and partner in crime, Rudolph Giuliani. It is also somewhere between possible and likely that Donald Trump's last White House chief of staff, Mark Meadows, will be one of the people on the witness stand testifying that the presidential election wasn't rigged and stolen. Today, NBC cameras spotted, spotted Mark Meadows in Washington, D.C. Have you testified before the grand jury? I, you know, I don't talk about anything they say to Do you feel like it's appropriate, the, the investigation? Donald Trump is not going to have any fun at all when he is on trial in Georgia and in Washington, D.C. And the worst days of his life in those trials could be the days when the people on the stand testifying against him are his co-conspirators, Rudolph Giuliani and Mark Meadows.